hello youtube in this video i'm going to review a rom for uh, oneplus one if you go to settings menu about phone you can find i'm running on the rom resurrection remix 5.4.0 which is based on android 5.1 and you can find the kernel details and other details are here so first of all if you are looking at the basic phone features you can find the dialer this is the lollipop dialer with dialing options here and then here is the messaging app with all the messaging settings as well as this uh, cell broadcast option and then next we have this stock a browser here and then the camera the camera is uh, google camera so besides that if you look at the a notification option you can find here is the normal details and then if you click a tap on that uh, option you can get the ultra, uh, alarm clock and then stopwatch options are you'll get and then this is the quick quick pull down option you can find all the options like brightness control wi-fi bluetooth data and you can turn on the data you can find the data usage here and then aeroplane mode, auto rotate, flashlight, GPS, other options. And then if you keep tap on the battery icon, it will open the battery options. And then you can turn on the battery saver options, which will save more battery. And you can also automatically turn by assigning the percentage of battery. And you can find the battery information here. Which is that if you click on this one, you can change, the, you can switch between the users from here. It's working very really fine, no problem so far. And then if you click on the settings menu, in this first option, uh, you will get all the, the regular options like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mobile network, and then data usage. Besides that, you get Android Beam, NFC, default SMS, airplane, tethering options, VPN, mobile networks, mobile plan, other options. And then this is the personalized option, which is uh, exclusive for the this room and first option if you take in the configuration interface you can find the status bar you can customize all the aspects of the status bar first one is brightness control you can click on that one swiping the bright uh, notification area you can control the brightness it's very good and then uh, here the show icon show notification count super su indicator carrier level quick pull down options you can decide which side you want to give. use the quick pull down option the right one is the one. So here is the quick pull down. Smart pull down is here. Clock and date. You can show the clock and date or you can remove that one. You can change the positions, font colors, everything can change. And then here is the battery icon style circle. If you need uh, battery percentage inside the circle, you can show that. Battery bar customization. If you want battery bar, you can place it on there. Like on status bar, you can do it customize that as well if you need the network traffic you can assign this here so it will show the network speed and all so that's all about the status bar and then if you need navigation button you can click on this one and you will get this navigation options from here uh, buttons and layout if you want to arrange you can do that navigation ring targets you can do that as well so that's about the navigation bar navigation but next in is the miscellaneous so first one is the clock blocker you can uh, turn it on and then you can check the old backlog which will help you to improve the battery as well so here is the animation section you can customize all the animations like tossed animations list view animations system animations as well and then here is a just to adjust anywhere if you enable that one using any gesture you can uh, Open any application, you can do all these things just using the gesture, and you can also assign the gesture trigger areas. So, besides that, there is an app circle bar. If you click on the app circle bar, so from the left, left right side, you'll get this app circle bar. You can also include and customize all the apps from here, and you can also assign the uh, trigger positions. And then, clear all buttons if you look at the Recent panel, this is the recent panel. If you need clear all button, you can do that. And uh, if you don't want that, then it won't be there. So you can customize that one. Clear all options if you are top right or bottom right, you can assign that. So that button will come him here. So that's all about that one. 
and then vibrate and press into widget caught widget and all so it's all about the C clock customization next one is lock screen to use lock screen you, you can uh, add many shortcuts here on the lock screen Keep, shortcuts are there so you can even customize this short lock screen shortcuts from there and then with display music visualizer you can customize that also and then next one is the notification drawer notification or you can also like customize all these notification options from here you can add more options to the tiles so that's the main options there and then next one is buttons you can customize all the buttons from here backlight the front mode power menu if you want to add screenshot to the power menu you can add that so you will get screenshot from there sound panel you can customize and uh, end call wake up answer and you can also customize the, all the navigation uh, buttons customization like long press action and the double tap action everything you can customize from here these are all the options and wake up design you can also use this play, playback control so your screen is locked uh, you can uh, use volume up and down key to skip your tracks so that's about the configuration that's the one is the way themes here is uh, CLC MGM mod 12 based theme so you can customize all the aspects of the theme here actually the performance option is again uh, play with all the performance options and now comes the display option expand display you can change the DPI gas screen other options gesture options so auto notification, all these options, the remaining options you could find in almost all the CM12 uh, ROMs. It's nothing exceptional here. So if you can see the languages here, support languages are here. I think it supports almost all the languages in the list list. So here is the backup restore and data and time accessibility printing option developer options here. And I think the board page you can get the advanced mode or then normal mode. And you can see the status of the phone here so that's all about the settings menu here if you look at the stock applications comes with the ROS the ROM first one is the audio effects you can uh, this is acts as a closer for your Bluetooth and all other music purposes and then browser calculator calendar documents download if this is the ECM file manager and the gallery application and messaging and this is the stock music application comes with this ROM this looks very good and then you can search bar here so this player is actually very nice so that's also here is a sound recorder and other options as well so basically this ROM is very fast and fluid I love this ROM and uh, if you want to know how to install this ROM you can check Check out the video description below. There is a link in the description to show you how to install this ROM. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.